Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem 4 from IMO 2023. So the problem goes like this. Let x1 through x2023 be pairwise different positive real numbers such that an equals the square root of the sum of them times the sum of the reciprocals is an integer for every n between 1 and 2023. And then they're asking us to prove that a2023 is at least 30, 34. So the first thing you would want to do is if you haven't thought about this problem, I would suggest that you pause the video, think about the problem, spend, you know, half an hour, an hour and either come back and compare your solution or see how I approach this problem. And rather than presenting you the solution, I will walk you through the process that led me to a solution. So the first thing that comes to my mind is, is there anything special about this number 2023? Of course, it's the year of the competition, but is there anything more special about that? Perhaps the fact that 2023 is odd, perhaps the fact that it is 1 mod 3 or something else. But at this point, we don't know anything about that. So I'm going to start with the plug in different values of n and see what we get. So n equals 1 gives us a1 equals 1. For n equals 2, we get a2 squared. If you expand that, x1 plus x2 times 1 over x1 plus 1 over x2 gives you 2 plus x1 over x2 plus x2 over x1. And if you apply the AMGM inequality to these two terms, you would get 2 plus 2 because square root of x1 over x2 times x2 over x1 is 1. And if you add them, you get 4. Uh, so that means a n is at least 2. But we know that x1 and x2 are not the same. So that means x1 over x2 and x2 over x1 are not the same, which means a2 is at least 3 because the equality does not hold. So let's move on to a3 and see what we can get. So if you look at a3 squared, we get 3. 3 is obtained by multiplying x1 by 1 over x1, x2 by 1 over x2, and x3 by 1 over x3. And the rest of the sum becomes xi over xj when i is not equal to j. There are three possibilities for i and two possibilities for j. So there are six terms here. And if you apply amgm to these six terms, we would get 3 plus 6, 6 root of product of xi over xj, and i is not equal to j. But this product is 1 because when you have xi over xj somewhere, you also have xj over xy somewhere else. So the sum becomes 3 plus 6, which is 9, which means a3 is at least 3. But we can't have xi over xj and xj over xi to be the same because xi and xj are not the same, which means a3 is at least 4. So let's look at a4. a4 with the same reasoning is 4 plus the sum of xi over xj. And doing the same thing, we get 4 plus, there are 12 terms because there are 4 possibilities for i, 3 possibilities for j, there are 12 terms, the equality does not hold, that means a4 is at least 5. Let's summarize what we got so far. We got a2 is at least 3, a3 is at least 4, and a4 is at least 5. This doesn't seem very good achievement because except for a2 is equal to a3, it was obvious that a3 must be a4 because a3 is always more than a2 and a4 must be at least 5. So that doesn't seem to help. Let's see what we would get if we were to do the same thing for an. We would get an squared equals n plus the sum of xi over xj. Applying the amgm inequality, we would get n plus there are n times n minus 1 terms here, and their product is 1. And that would give us n squared. And since we don't have equality, a n is at least n plus 1. This is not good news because that was obvious from the beginning that if a2 is at least 3, then a n would be at least n plus 1. And this is not good enough for us to get to 3034 that they asked us to get. So let's see what else we can do. What we can do is maybe relate this a n plus 1 with the previous term. How do we do that? If you expand that, you get a n squared. a n squared gives you all of the terms that have x1 through x n. And we also have x n plus 1 over x n plus 1, which is 1. The rest of the terms are x n plus 1 over x i or x i over x n plus 1. If we apply AMGM to these, we would get a n squared plus 1 plus 2 n. And this is less than a n plus 1 squared which means the best we can get is an plus 1 is at least an plus 1, which is again not very helpful. At this point, I noticed that the term that I have here, the sum that I have here, can be related to an. How can we relate that to an? So if you write it down this way, 
if you factor x n plus 1 from the terms that have x n plus 1 on top and factor 1 over x n plus 1 from the terms that have x n plus 1 at the bottom you would get this expression apply amgm and you would get exactly 2 times a n if we can somehow show that the equality does not hold then we would get a n plus 1 squared is more than a n squared plus 1 plus 2 a n which means a n plus 1 is at least a n plus 2. So to summarize this is what we get a n plus 1 is greater than or equal to a n plus 2 assuming that we can prove that equality does not hold. This is great except that this is too good to be true. Why? Because looking at the inequality that they gave us what we want to show is that a 2023 is at least 3034. If you compare 3034 with 2023 it's about three half of that which means for every increase in the index we would need to increase the lower bound by three halves not by two so here we have increased the lower bound by two we should increase the lower bound by three halves in other words we probably need to look at a n plus two greater than or equal to a n plus three if we can prove this then we would be done so let's see if we can prove that we're going to write down a n plus two squared there are terms that only have x1 through xn that would give you a, a n squared there are terms that have xn plus 1 and xn plus 2 there are four terms with that characteristic there are terms that have xn plus 1 and x1 through xn and these are those terms and finally we have terms that have xn plus 2 and x1 through xn we're going to keep the first term the next four terms are greater than 4 by amgm the first one is 1 the second one is 1 the next one and the next one are reciprocals so if you use amgm and using the fact that xn plus 1 and xn plus 2 are not the same this would be more than 4 and I'm gonna apply amgm to the rest of them as well so here's what we get an plus 2 squared is greater than or equal to an squared plus 4 plus 4 times the fourth root of this expression this expression inside simplifies and we get a n squared here and then a n squared here so the whole thing becomes a n so that means a n plus 2 squared is greater than or equal to a n plus 2 all squared and we discussed that the equality cannot hold which means a n plus 2 is at least a n plus 3 and we are almost there so all we need to do is to apply this repeatedly to what they gave us a2023 is at least a2021 plus 3 is at least a2019 plus 3 times 2 a2017 plus 3 times 3 a2015 plus 3 times 4 etc and the last one becomes a1 plus 3 times 1011 and that's exactly 3034 if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to the channel where you can find more videos like this and I'm going to put up a couple of videos like this on the screen and I will see you in another video.